I'm going to be comparing a Google Cloud VM instance versus an AWS EC2 instance. So first I'm going to set up the VM instance in Google Cloud, and then I'm going to go over to AWS and set up an EC2 instance. And this is my first time using Google Cloud, uh, but I did watch a tutorial on how to set this up, so now I'm going to get into it. So we're going to go ahead over here to Compute Engine, VM instance. Uh, one thing I do like about the Google Cloud platform is they give you $300 in free credit to use for your first 12 months. So similar to AWS, how they give you free services. So let's go ahead here and create the instance. So name here, got the region. That all looks good. Boot disk. Okay, so here's where you would change the OS. So I'm going to go ahead and just change it to Ubuntu 16. So select seems like you can just leave it as the default settings for most of the things um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that what's cool here is they already they have like a startup script thing that you can paste right in here and I'm gonna go ahead and create it what I actually like about this is that everything was on one page where in AWS you have to do it on eight different pages and supposedly this does actually boot up faster so we'll see because AWS usually takes about a minute or two minutes. Um, the tutorial I was watching was saying that these spawn in like under a minute. So I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so it looks like it took about a minute or so, a little under a minute. One thing that's cool about VM instances in Google Cloud is that you can actually connect right through the browser. Which is a cool feature, so you don't have to set up the SSH keys if you don't want to. Um, so I think it's great for people that are like just starting out because you don't have to use extra tools and make it, you know, more complicated extra steps. You just click a button and bam, I'm SSH right in to here. Wow, that, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Oops. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool how quickly everything could get set up. And, uh, yeah, let me see how easy it is to tear down. I guess delete here yes let's go ahead and delete it not gonna lie pretty easy to get set up and going I watched like four minutes of a 10 minute tutorial and I was up and going now I do have three years experience using uh, you know cloud platforms for server infrastructure so that certainly has helped but pretty straightforward um, you know and it could all be done through the web UI really what I'm most impressed about is you know the $300 credit you get for signing up and then also uh, being able to just SSH just from the click of a button. That's kind of cool. Okay, it's taking a bit of time, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on over to AWS now. Okay, so now we're in AWS. Let's go ahead and set up an EC2 instance. I'm gonna go launch the instance. Uh, let's see here. Yep, let's go Ubuntu server free tier eligible default settings are good default storage is good we go ahead and review and launch launch so we're gonna choose an existing key pair we're gonna go ahead and launch it so pretty easy to do but I do have couple years experience with AWS um, UI is a little bit clunkier I'm not gonna lie but what I do like in AWS is that uh, you know they give you free tier options so there's like two classes of free tiers there's some that only give you free tier for the first 12 months and then there's some that give you free tier forever okay it's running but it's still initializing but that actually was faster than Google Cloud so you know, honestly, I think it just depends on like where you launch and what time of day you launch, how much demand is there right now. I think that's really what it comes down to. Um, one knock on them is that, you know, there's no easy one click button that you can like, you know, click and have it load right in the browser. But it's really not a problem once you figure out how to do it. But that is something that I noticed is probably better for beginners getting into some, you know, a cloud platform. But I still like AWS. I think it has a lot more feature heavy, but I don't know, maybe I'll do more comparison videos like this in the future and just start comparing other services. Uh, you know, if there's a better tool out there, I'd be interested in, in checking it out and checking out all the different ones. Maybe I'll make videos in the future, 
you know, comparing Azure instances to Google Cloud and AWS and then all the different features and then maybe start doing more in-depth price analysis. I don't know. Let me know if you like this video. If you want more content like this, subscribe for more content. And thank you for watching. Bye.